This summer's All-Star Game has a new home. The MLB announced the game will be played in Denver after moving it out of Atlanta in protest of Georgia's GOP back. If we remain with the accessibility piece, that's completely fine. We all have access. You're taking away freedoms. You take away the right, you're taking away freedom. These things you're seeing happening in some of these other states are coming from legislative bodies. They're not coming from the people who actually conduct elections. Our process in Colorado is the gold standard. Today we have several interviews lined up. We're going to be speaking with elected officials, some members of the community regarding the elections and the voting system here in Colorado. Every year there's an election, so I think, you know, whether it's a presidential election or not, we always have elections. And I, sometimes local elections are the most important ones. There's always that need to open the conversation to speak about this. I'm 20 years old. I'm a current student at MSU for political science. So not only was I voting for myself, but uh, the priority within my first vote was not, uh, for my parents and for my community, the Latino and the Spanish-speaking community. It's the vote that finally I can speak for my community. Mine was mail-in ballots. Um, of course, there was lots of controversy this election. Uh, within the mail-in ballots, but it's, I mean, Colorado has been doing that. We've always been an example to other states. If we go back over just even the past five or six years, we have had election officials from not only all around the United States, but all around the world come here to visit and see what we do and how we do it. One of the things that I think caused a bit of the stir in 2020 is you had a lot of jurisdictions because of the pandemic trying to ramp up a program that we've had here in the state of Colorado for you know going on a decade. I feel honored that the MLB would move the All-Star Game to a state like Colorado, which like I said, is a shining example of how we can make sure as many people that want to vote can vote. I couldn't, I would not necessarily say as an example, I, knew, I know that I'm, I'm familiar that Colorado is the golden state for voting, um, but based on what I've observed and what has, has happened, I think right now we need to restore the the faith in, in what is voting. The narrative is probably, you know, you can't unring the bell. So the 2020 narrative is going to sort of cast its shadow over everything. We understand that in the business. Here, we've had audits. We audit the system before every election. We audit the system after every election. In our audits, we have a very low error rate and then an even smaller fraud rate. So it, the idea that imposing an ID requirement makes your election safer is just not true. The facts do not bear that out. Early voting and mail, uh, voting by mail, how comfortable do you feel with it? Look, as I, I feel, I would say, about 80% comfortable uh, regarding mail-in voting. Why? Because I'm not sure what, what are the safeguards that they're using, what are the protocols, what are the steps to not only ensure that my, my ballot is being counted, but in this case, it's also my identity. All of our processes take place under 24-7 camera. All of our election judges actually wear a party affiliation button. We started having a 24-hour live feed that shows all of our ballot processing areas. The ballots get run through the machines. There is a signature that's on the ballot. On the first pass, it will actually pull an image of the signature off, and then it also does automatic signature verification. And then everybody who verifies signatures for us actually is trained by a former FBI forensic handwriting analyst. Born and raised here in Denver, and I've been voting since 18. Brother, it's a, it's a right. It's a right that we've earned. We make it easy. You have to really try not to vote here in Colorado if you want to vote. We pride ourselves on being known for being so voter-centric. Anyone with concerns about how the voting process works, go be an election judge. You can see the process from the inside 
and that's something we encourage everyone to do. It's just a good thing to be civically active. Hey everyone, Cody Broadway here. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out the MBCLX YouTube channel. Be sure to click here for more videos and also click here to subscribe to join the MBCLX community.